What most people in their 40s, 50s, and 60s don't realize is that avoiding carbs is one of the worst things that you can do for your metabolism, your metabolic rate itself, and your hormones. Hey everybody, Coach Sean here from Beyond 40. And inside this video, I wanna share exactly what I eat meal by meal every Saturday and Sunday using what I call carb up days to boost my fat burning hormones and to boost my metabolism and how you can do the same exact thing as well. Now, you'll also see a beautiful picture of a colorful dog that my granddaughter drew and my skull here that I drew. I'll share more about Puppa's palette in just a second. And if you see this band-aid, it's because I cut my ear today shaving hair off my ears. This is what happens when you get <laughs> over 40 years old, 50 years old, get more hair coming out of your nose and your ears. So anyway, if you're wondering about the band-aid or the picture, I, wanna, I'll, I draw every week with my grandkids when we babysit them. They come down and we have a drawing session and we've labeled it Puppa's Palette. And of course, Halloween time was just here. So I did the skull. And then Aria, my beautiful granddaughter, did what she calls a colorful puppy. So anyway, back to how I burn fat Monday through Friday and how I build muscle on Saturday and Sunday and how you can do the same thing too. So over here, you're going to see I've listed three hormones, leptin, thyroid, and insulin levels. And what happens during the week is I personally go very low carb and high protein. Now, if you don't understand why protein is the king of all macronutrients when it comes to dieting, I'll go ahead at the end of this video and I'll put a thumbnail up in the corner and you can click on that and you can watch a video by why protein is the king of all macronutrients when dieting. Got a lot of great feedback on that video. So up here, you see Monday through Friday, it says fat burning. So I call these deplete days. And so what I do is I keep carbs really, really low. I make sure to consume them pre and post workout. And I'll share more about that in just a second. And I keep protein sky high and I let fats kind of fill in the missing gap. Now what this does is it keeps insulin very, very low and allows the body to become fat adapted and use stored fat as a fuel source. But when, so when insulin is very low, it's very beneficial on fat loss. However, when you do this, for four or five days in a row, like I do Monday through Friday, you also suppress two very important hormones that drive your metabolic rate and regulate your body weight, and that is leptin and thyroid hormones. So during those five days of fat burning, leptin and thyroid hormones will slowly decline throughout the week, and they can be declined by up to 50% all the way by day seven of a low-carb diet. So the solution I use on Saturday and Sunday is what I call muscle building days, and I cr increase glucose from carbohydrates like white rice, potatoes, and bananas because that glucose is a building block of thyroid and leptin hormones. Not only that, socially, we're much more likely to eat a lot of carbs on the weekend anyway. So this kind of just caters to our natural way of living. And then if you have a high carb day on the weekdays because you want to party or there's something social going on, you can just swap one of your weekdays for your weekends. So on the weekends, I'm going to intentionally increase my carbs to almost 200 to 250 grams per day. And this is going to drive back up leptin and thyroid hormones. Now, it's also going to increase insulin, which is a storage hormone. And that's going to take your body out of fat burning mode. But it's very desirable for those two days because insulin is very anabolic. So it helps you build muscle and it increases your body's insulin sensitivity after going very low carb for those five days. So very beneficial for your metabolism very beneficial for your hormones, and very beneficial for your sanity. Now, let's talk about what, exactly what I eat on a carb up day. So pre and post workout on the weekdays, I'm going to have a protein and a fruit. I'm going to do the same thing on the weekends as well, but I'm going to share with you, these are the carbs that I'll have during the week, pre and post workout, to fuel my workout. Uh, otherwise, you, you literally will feel like crap because you're following a low carb diet Monday through Friday. So what you do is you have protein and fruit before a workout. That fast-acting sugar from an apple or berries or a kiwi or a banana, pear, any type of fruit is going to give you energy throughout the workout. I just recommend because fruit is sugar that you have a protein with it so you balance your blood sugar a little bit better. Eating the fruit by itself before a workout is an okay choice, but it's going to raise insulin higher and faster and can potentially give you a crash. So you always want to have a protein in every single meal. Post-workout, we're going to change that fruit, that F to an S, and have a starch. So a fist-sized portion of a, a potato, um, white rice, 
uh, beans, lentils, oatmeal, quinoa, anything like this that's glucose based in the post-workout window because those carbs are never gonna spill over and be stored as fat. Now, what do I eat on my carb up days? My first meal is pancakes, which is a protein starch and a fruit. I'll share that in just a second. My second meal is a PS, so it's a protein and a starch, and it's enchiladas. I'll share how those can be healthy. And meal three is a protein and a starch, which is pasta. And I'll share how that can be healthy. Now, typically, uh, meal one, you could always have like an omelet with potatoes as well. I just eat a lot of eggs uh, during the week. So on the weekends, I like to indulge and make a healthy pancake recipe where I combine oats, cottage cheese, and protein powder. I blend it up, put a little olive oil in a pan, cook those pancakes up. I like to cook them a little raw because it keeps them moist and they don't dry up on you. These are delicious. I top them with Greek yogurt and bananas. So now I have a starch from the oats and bananas. Second meal is enchiladas. Most people think enchiladas is cheap food. It's not if you do it right. I use cassava wraps. This is just like a root vegetable, just like a potato. I combine that with a lean meat. So I want to have fattier cuts of meat during the week because they're more satiating and I'm keeping carbs really, really low. And so I want those extra fats. But on the weekends, because I'm increasing carb intake, I'm also spiking insulin levels. And insulin is a storage hormone. So if there's too much fat from fatty meats floating around in the bloodstream, the insulin will take that fat and is more likely to store it on the weekends. So I always pick a lean meat. So you can also add in some beans. So we wrap up some lean meat and some beans in the cassava wraps, put a little bit of so low sodium enchilada sauce on them, light cheese on top of them, bake them, throw some tomatoes, lettuce, and hot sauce on top, off the chain, amazing. Now, if you wanna have sour cream and guacamole, you can just have small amounts because again, they have a lot of fat in them. And we wanna watch that fat intake when we're having these higher carb meals. Next meal, I have white rice pasta, and I have my wife's red, uh, healthy red sauce, and then I put some lean ground beef on there. So 90-10 or 95-5 lean ground beef. And that is off the chain. Maybe a sprinkle of some Parmesan. Amazing. Now, if you want to know what I eat meal by meal, on deplete days Monday through Friday, I'll go ahead and put a thumbnail in this corner, and you can go ahead and click and watch that video. Before I go, my band-aid here, Papa's Palette. So every week... When my wife babysits my grandkids, they always want to come down and draw on the whiteboard. So I always intentionally take a break and hang out with my grandkids, and we always come down and we draw something. Well, it's been Halloween, so I drew a skull, and then, of course, we're calling it Puppa's Palette now, because every single week we're doing this. So I'm going to start sharing these in my videos. And then this was, you can see here, Ari assigned a Puppa for me, and she drew a colorful dog. She's four years old, but... That is my passion, is leaving a legacy and a nest egg for my kids and grandkids. And why I stay in great shape. I want to be a positive example for them. I want to live a long life. I want to see them grow up, have kids of their own. And I'm rambling about my grandkids. But anyway, thanks for watching and God bless.